Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with another One Kit 10 cards featuring the June Card Kit by Simon Says Stamp. Now just like always I'm going to show you what's included in the kit before I start making my 10 cards. Now Ginger has claimed this box as his own, he doesn't move from the top of it and if you have cards you already know that there is a strange love between cards and boxes. Okay, so enough with my cut, let's move on and take a look on what's included. So first of all, I'm going to open up this package, this is the Cartabella Botanical Garden Frames and Tags. There are 33 different die cut cardstock pieces. I'm going to spread this out so you can see how beautiful these are. I absolutely love when a card kit comes with a pack with uh, cutouts. I believe that they make quick and easy cards and at the same time they always match the pattern paper included in the kit so they are a great recipe for beautiful cards. Now I know that just like every month you will find lots of inspiration on how to use the stamp set included in this uh, kit. And that's why I decided in this video to use only the pattern papers and all those cutouts to put them together and show you how easy it is to make the most out of them and create 10 cards. Now the next package includes mini paper blooms. These are, I believe, 10 little flowers made out of paper and they are by Kaisercraft. You can use them as a bouquet or just separate them, which is something that I usually do. Now let's move on and take a look on the stamp set. This is a big stamp set with lots of wreaths and frames. This is actually called leafy frames. You will also get a leafy border as well as lots and lots of sentiments. Now let's take a look at the paper that you get. These are 6x6 papers. They are double sided. You will get 12 pages and they are all just gorgeous. Now, if you don't want to grab the kit, you can get these separately and you will find links down below to everything included. Included in the kit are also four envelopes in colors that match the theme of the kit. Some of them are actually metallic. You will also get five different colors of cardstock. And last but not least, you will get one jar of uh, clear rock candy distress glitter. This is by Ranger. And also glitter duster by Stampers Anonymous. Now you can add the glitter inside this duster. You can put the cup back on and there is a nozzle that flips left or right. Direct the nozzle to your project and add some glitter. Now remember of course that this is just dry glitter. You need to have something sticky for the glitter to grab onto. So now let's start to make my 10 cards. I'm starting with this beautiful pattern paper, which I'm going to cut down to be four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm not going to throw any of the leftovers. I'm just putting them aside and I might use them in the next cards. Now, if you notice the back of this paper matches perfectly the front and I'm going to show you a fun trick to use both of those sizes. Now, I want to use this tag and uh, it doesn't show as much just because it is very busy. The background is very busy. So I'm going to use one of my rectangle dies and cut out a rectangle from the inside. So now I can simply flip it over and have the back side and this provides a lovely background for my tag. I'm going to stick everything on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. You can keep everything simple or adjust like I did, turn this into a shaker card. So at the back I'm going with some uh, acetate which I'm going to stick behind the window. And then of course I'm going to add my foam tip all around and the sequence inside. I'm going to align my frame directly on top of my card base, making sure that everything is nice and neat. And then all I have to do is to stick the tag that I chose from the cutouts on top of it. So here is the finished shaker card and you can see that I embellished the tag with some ribbon. Moving on to the second card and again I love how the back matches the front so I'm going to show you another trick on how to use both sides. Here I'm going to cut out this uh, pattern paper to be four and a quarter by five and a half again and then chop off just the bottom part. This way I have two pieces from the same pattern paper and uh, I can combine both sides. And I'm going to share some tips and tricks on how I put things together today. So if you look through those die cuts, you will find that some of them have the same colors as the pattern papers, as well as some of them have uh, the same 
flower designs and that's what I'm going for today. I will show you how to make the most out of this uh, pack of ephemera and the most out of those pattern papers, how to put these things together and have a visual pleasing result. So here I'm going to stick everything down on my standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going really simply, this is going to be a super quick card but really beautiful. And uh, all I'm going to do on top is just stick one of those die cut uh, sentiments. Of course, instead of that, you can always stamp your sentiment at the bottom part that it is a solid color. And that was card number two. Now let's move on to the third card. Again, I'm starting out with a beautiful pattern paper. I'm going to cut it down to size, just like always. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I have a leftover from the previous card, which is uh, red at the back and matches perfectly the colors of this pattern paper. And this is exactly what I will be using. Don't uh, throw away the leftovers. They are great for adding uh, embellishments on the rest of uh, the cards that you make. I also cut out two very thin strips of uh, the green paper that was in the kit and I will be using that a lot in the next cards since it is a solid color and it helps all the rest of the designs pop even more. So I have created a border, a green border on each side of this uh, red strip and I'm going to use my scissors to cut out a fish tail. I used foam tape to stick down my paper ribbon and then one of the cutouts as a sentiment. And here is the third card for today. For the next card I'm starting out with another pattern paper and I'm cutting it out to be slightly smaller than the standard card. So I believe this is 4 by 5 and 1 quarter. And I started out wanting to use this side, but this is where I decided that it looks better on the other side. And that's the embellishment that I'm going for. If you notice the flowers on the tag are the same as the flowers on the pattern paper, so this is the perfect match. So I am sticking my pattern paper on top of a black panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I have a little bit of black border. I'm going to use foam scores at the back of the tag and as I'm placing it there I decided that I needed something extra. So I'm using the solid pattern paper to cut out another thin strip of uh, green paper which I'm going to stick at the back to look as if it is a ribbon. Of course I will use my scissors to cut off the excess and my card is ready, all I need to do is to stick it on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. For the next card I will combine these beautiful pattern papers, the solid one that I have been using in a previous cards and uh, which I am cutting out to be four and a quarter by five and a half, as well as this one, which is going to be slightly smaller. Now for this one, I'm going for a very distressed look, but also really romantic. I'm going to distress the edges and for that I'm using my Tim Holtz tool, but you can also use your scissors. If you are going for a more vintage look, you can also ink up the edges, use your vintage photo ink pad or something uh, slightly brown. I am also going to create some notches with my scissors, since I want this to look uh, old and distressed. I am cutting out the notches, creating a visual triangle, and uh, I will curl up the edges, which is going to allow for the back of the paper to show through. Here's how the pattern paper looks on top of the green card base and I'm going to use the leftover from this pattern paper again which is uh, striped at the back and I'm going to cut out small pieces that I can glue at the back of those notches which is going to add more interest on my card. And I will repeat the same process for the other two notches so that you can always see through the other side of the pattern paper. At the top right corner of my green paper, I'm going to stamp the word hello. This is a stamp that comes from the stamp set in the kit and I'm going to emboss it. I am not going to use white embossing powder, instead the embossing powder that I used is vanilla. Just because the background of those flowers isn't white, it is actually off-white and little details like that really make a difference on the overall look of your finished card. And just like I promised, today I'm playing with the pattern papers and showing you different ways that you can play with them. So here I'm just going to curl up one side of uh, the pattern paper, which is going to reveal the sentiment. 
I'm going to stick one of those uh, corners down. You can leave it as it is and call it done, or you can add a little bow on top of that corner, just like I did here. For the next card, again, I'm going to use both sides of this pattern paper. So I'm going to cut out first a panel. And then from the leftover, I'm going to cut out two thin strips. So I'm going to put everything together now. I have a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm going to stick the um, two thin strips on each side. And uh, then at the center with some foam tape at the back, I'm going to secure the uh, pink panel. For a sentiment, I'm going with one of the provided tags. And if you notice, the design on this uh, tag is actually the same as the flowers on my background. And now this is where I cheated. In this card, I didn't use only products from the kit. I just used a tie that I had on stash that cuts out leaves. And I'm just going to use them to embellish the left and the right of my tag. But the green cardstock that I used to cut out those leaves was the one that was included in the kit. To finish off my card, I added a satin ribbon at the top of my tag, and here is a close-up look. Okay, so here is another pattern paper, which is going to turn into another card. This time I'm going to do some fuzzy cutting, just because this flower arrangement is nice and big, and I love that it has a ba black background all around. So I'm trying to separate everything from the rest of the design with my scissors, and then I'm going to cut it out, leaving a black border all around. This is going to make uh, it look as if i done a perfect job as I was cutting it out, just because it is black. In my Misty I have a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. This says sending hug and kisses and it is a combination of two stamps from the stamp set included in the kit. I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking and now I'm going to apply green embossing powder that matches perfectly with the rest of the colors. So for this card I am combining the craft cardstock and the black cardstock from the kit and uh, I think that uh, this green sentiment and the greenish flower composition really pop against that black background. And of course since I love dimension I did use some foam scores at the back to pop up this cutout. For the next card I will be working with this pattern paper and a leftover from the previous one. So I will be using this border die that I had in my stash and uh, I'm going to cut out the bottom of this panel. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half panel by the, by the way. Any border die that you might have on your stash would work with this design and if you don't have just chop it off to be slightly smaller. The idea is to be able to see the second pattern paper underneath. Now for the main uh, flower design I'm going to use foam tape at the back so that I can pop it up. As a sentiment I'm going with this one that says life is better with you from the cutouts and the border isn't working for my design so I can either use my paper trimmer to cut it out or use one of those thin strip dies to cut out only the sentiment from the inside. Now I also grabbed one of the frames from the cutouts and I'm going to combine everything together. I'm going for a little frame here that will hold some of the dimensional flowers from the kit. So I'm going to stick down the sentiment and then as the background I want to have something green so that uh, it helps my elements pop against that background which is really busy with all those flowers. So I'm adding some tape adhesive at the back. I'm going to align it just temporarily to see where this green has to go. And then at the back of the frame and the sentiment, I'm going to add some tiny little foam squares so that I can pop it on my card. Now I have a little window waiting for a focal point there. And for that, I'm going with the paper flowers that were included in the kit. I'm going to use three of them because it's always nice to go with odd numbers. And I'm going to stick them down in a bunch using some uh, glue dots at the back. Once you have those three flowers inside your frame, you can call this card done. I went ahead and cheated again, used again the same dies that cut out the leaves. I cut them out of vellum and I'm going to embellish the flowers a little bit. But this is not necessary. I think it looked great without the leaves. Now I'm going to do some fuzzy cutting for the next card. This is a leftover from a previous card that I created. I'm going to use my scissors and cut out a couple of those uh, flower compositions. 
Again, this has black border, which makes it look perfect once I cut it out. So as a sentiment, I picked one of the banners from the kit that says Friends become our chosen family. I think this is a lovely banner to use. I have uh, cut out a couple of uh, holes and I'm going to thread some twine. This time I'm going with a pattern paper that has those tiny little leaves and I'm going to combine it with a piece of the green solid paper. I'm going to use some foam squares at the back of my banner and secure it on top of this little green piece. I secured the twine at the back and now I'm going to stick this panel on top of the other by using foam tape at the back. And finally I'm going to embellish my card a little bit more with the flower compositions that I fuzzy cut previously. I'm going to stick those down on the left and on the right of my banner with some glue at the back. To finish off my card, I used the same twine and uh, I tied a tiny little bow which I'm going to stick down. And here is a close-up look. For the last card for today, I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper. I made sure that it is slightly thinner than the standard card, so you will be able to see a thin border on one side. And then I'm going to use one of my circle dies to cut out a piece from the pattern paper. This way I created an area where I can stamp my sentiment and for that I'm going with one uh, stamp from the stamp set that says you are always in my heart. I'm going to stamp that directly inside that circle. I stamped it with Versamarking and then applied vanilla embossing powder and now at the back of my panel I have added some foam tape. Now as you can see I have created a lovely window on one side and I do have a little bit of that cardstock popping up on the right. And this is where I'm going to stick down a very thin strip of green cardstock because I think it adds a lovely detail and finishes off nicely my card. And here is a close-up look on the last card. Now I still have a bunch of those die cuts that I haven't used and I can make even more cards. This is the only pattern paper that I haven't used but I do have many leftovers. And from this stamp set I only used some of the sentiments. I haven't even touched the designs. So imagine how many cards you can make with this stamp set. And now let's take a close-up look on all the 10 cards that I made for today using products from the June Card Kit by Simon Says Stamp. I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired to create cards using up your pattern paper and cutouts that you probably have on your stars. Don't forget to like, leave me a comment and also subscribe if you haven't done so already because this is the way to tell me that you like my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.